why don't you tell us a little bit about what the experience was like when you first showed up and, and how it goes for somebody who doesn't necessarily know uh, how this consulting program works? Well, uh, we had the vision of Bloom about five years ago. I've had my own coaching practice for over 10 years. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the idea of expanding it and bringing more coaches uh, so we can obviously touch more lives and transform more lives um, it came to mind about five years ago. And we had a plan. We had the vision. Um, and I, I think last year we were kind of ready to you know, just get more uh, advice on how to do that, how to, how to be successful at, at launching the business. Um, and that's how I came across the incubator. We applied and since then um, we, we were paired up with a mentor coach, a business coach. Um, and we started using the Lean Startup uh, model. I don't, know, I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yeah, a little bit familiar with it, but you can give us a, a background of it. So what I love about it is that unlike a traditional business plan, you don't have to spend months, you know, trying to figure out your your truth and your answers for how you think the business needs to be. It's very dynamic. Um, you actually create assumptions and hypotheses. Okay, this is this is what I what we think our customers are. This is, these are our channels, um, are the way that we want to create income. And then, you know, you work on this model that is very agile because you're constantly going out there improving um, and, you know, going, going to market and talking to customer and see if what your hypotheses or assumptions are real or not. And you reiterate all the time. So that's what I loved about the incubator, that it uses that model instead of, you know, having to spend, you know, hundreds of hours on a traditional plan. Uh, with our coach, we, we meet weekly and um, we're constantly talking about challenges, right? And vision and ideas and what's working and what's not working so you're not alone. The, the journey of an entrepreneur can be bumpy, right? Uh, I think we have more lows than highs. And it's good to have, you know, that team that is containing you and advising you and the times that you're really doubting the ideas or things that are not working, extremely resourceful as well. So that's what we did for about the first three months. It was really about, uh, you know, uh, understanding the nine different segment, segments under the Canvas model, business model. Um, and then uh, once that was, once we were ready to start working with the students, I think we had a very good idea uh, of how we wanted to position ourselves. And uh, we met with a group of students. There were five different students. And it's like having, you know, a team that you would pay thousands of dollars a month uh, to be able to collaborate with you on the specific needs that we had and research and, and you know, studies that needed to, they needed to, that we needed to do in order for us to clarify it. Uh, our strategy. Um, so it's very dynamic. Um, it's pretty much like having your own, you know, your own team all the time instead of being solo. Would you say that you would recommend to, to stick with going for a lean business plan? I think it really depends. I don't think it's a, a it depends where you are in the in the journey. I think if you're getting if you're getting started, definitely go with a lean startup. Um, if, if you're already uh, looking for capital, maybe a traditional business plan is going to be needed. Um, you really need to know just where you are in the business, in the stage of your business. But don't ever sit alone for hundreds of hours trying to figure out things on your own and, and, and thinking that you have the truth. I think that that would be my advice for any entrepreneur. <laughs> 